Hello friends. Welcome to Lady J and Family Kitchen. It's good to be here once again with you. Uh well 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 today guys I want to show you new thing you see yeah before me here I have a book I am doing this because of those of us who doesn't know how to help themselves in the kitchen yeah there are many ways you know we are living in a modern life you can do it on YouTube to help yourself out or you can as well use a book, you know. You go to your bookshop, there are many types of books in which you get many recipes to help yourself out in the kitchen. So I am giving an example with this very one I'm holding right here as you can see. So guys, we have many recipes here, but I am sorry you cannot read this one because this very one is written in Dutch, but you can get it in English language, in any other language that you understand, you know? So there are many ways we can help ourselves out so guys you can see yeah i believe our people also have their their own because this one is from the dutch man the dutch country so if you are the type who thinks of how do i help myself out you can go close to your bookshop and see for yourself if you can find one you can ask the bookman, the one that sells in the shop, to help you with a book of recipe. Yes. And trust me, you're going to like it. Or you can as well go to the YouTube, Google, and help yourself out, guys. Okay, guys. Today, I have a new one for you here. Please, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, my returners. I want to say thank you, guys. You guys are wonderful. To my new subscribers, thank you so much, so much, so much, so much. I love you guys. Please keep loving me without condition. May God bless you all for helping me, for being there for me. Because without you guys, this will never work out. So guys, today I am taking you to my kitchen. Today we are going to prepare beans and potato together. So let me take you to my kitchen. Let's see what we got, guys. So guys, here we are. Welcome back. So today we are making beans and potato yeah guys i remember some time ago i prepared a beans and potato porridge and today it's not the same you know yeah today we're making it another way around so these are the ingredients we are going to be using we are going to be needing for today so i will show you mm -hmm. here i got my beans it's already cooked as you can see yeah because of time you know last time i told you guys that when you have your beans on the fire you don't need to put your salt or maggie or anything no the beans when is it on the fire first thing you add to the beans is just onion with your onion it's okay until the beans is done well cooked before you can add the other ingredients so guys we go further here i have my here i have my onion yeah I have chopped it and um, today I am still using fish yeah last time I also used fish today I'm using fish because I love fish so much in my beans it's very soft yeah, and my kids love it so much and we go further here I have my tatashe as we know it and my pepper uh, ginger 
garlic and onion yeah i'm going to be blending this together and furthermore there i have crayfish blended crayfish and um tomato paste i got my curry i got my maggi and um tomato right here and um my thyme as you can see so guys this is it so we're gonna go to the kitchen right now and start it up you see i am peeling the potatoes already this is the potato skin i'm just peeling it i'm not done with it so let's go guys you see how it comes out soon. so guys here we are the oil is hot and now i'm adding some onion peel I'm gonna leave it to cook for about a minute, you know, to bring out the flavor. So, guys, here we are once again. Now, I'm gonna put the fish in, yeah, my fish is inside. Okay, then we let it fry. Okay, guys, as you can see, our fish is ready. Oh my god. So I like head of fish. I love it. Sorry guys. So I'm just gonna remove this buns onion because we're going to use this same oil to fry the tomato sauce. So guys, as you can see, I'm blending the tomatoes and paprika. And right here, I have blended onion. I have blended the, the onion, garlic, and ginger. Yeah. So, so guys, here we go, guys. So I'm just gonna add my <laughs> onion. And at the same time, I'm adding a little um, garlic. Okay, guys, here we are. I have fried it for two minutes. So I am adding the tomato paste. So I'm gonna let it fry for about five minutes before adding my tatashe and my tomato seed. I mean my blended tomatoes. So I'm just gonna let it fry for five minutes. Okay guys. Our tomato paste is ready, well fried, as you can see. And now I am adding my tomato. Wow. So I'm just gonna let it fry for a good 10 to 12 minutes to enable all the waters go out because I don't like that. So this is it guys. So we let it cook. Mm -hmm. So guys, this is it. After after 12 minutes, this is how it's looking. You see? So right now, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and add my onions, ginger, and garlic paste. At the same time, I am adding my thyme. And I'm adding some curry powder. And I turn it together very well. So guys, right now I'm adding my salt, mm -hmm. salt, yeah, not much, my cube, so that's turning very well. So, I'm adding my blended crayfish. And down the heat. So at this moment, I'll just add my fish. Yeah, I want it to cook together. Add my fish a bit. <laughs> Guess what? I am adding the head of fish because it's mine. I love it. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys, this is it. As you can see, we just have to let it cook for like five, three to five minutes. Then I will turn it into the pot of beans. Okay, sweet family. As you can see, our stew is ready. So I'm just going to turn it into a pot of beans right away. So guys. This is it. Just turning it into the pot of beans. See that? Yeah. Okay. Now I will stir it together. So guys, after turning it, this is the outcome of it. See, our beans is ready. So I'm just gonna leave it here for some time. Just in a low heat for five minutes, you know, 10 minutes, or if I want. Yeah, this is it, after that. It's ready. Okay. Okay, guys. Yes, our potato were cleaned, washed. So now I'm just going to add my salt inside. Then I will mix it properly. So after mixing with the salt right here, I'm putting it, putting them in the tray because I'm gonna put them in the oven. Yeah, I'm just gonna make them oven potato. Yeah, I loved oven potato more than the cooked one. So that's it. So this is it, guys. Mm. Let's see. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cover it properly and put it in the oven. Yeah. 
is delicious when you make it this way with your beans hmm it's yummy guys as you can see i'm using the folio paper to cover it properly hmm? yeah just wrap it very well to make sure that the heat will not go out of it yeah because my oven is just a one side oven <laughs> It doesn't work to from the both side up and down also i must cover it properly to enable it quick done you know quick cook so that is it so guys as you can see it's right in the oven so we're just gonna wait for about 45 minutes yeah about 45 minutes and it will be ready so guys here we are our potato is ready after 45 minutes and i have just bring it out from the oven so let us see how it is looking so let us see how it looks how it looks uh -huh. look at that oh my god this is this is good guys look at it look at this my goodness i love it okay let's check it right here whoa you see that oh my goodness this is so good guys you have to try this out okay try this out and i promise you you're gonna love it oh yes you will love this okay okay my people you can see the outcome of our beans and potato mm, it's beautiful it's appetizing it's delicious my god i can't wait to have a taste i just need to have a taste of this mm, mm, mm. oh my god guys just try this out you're gonna love it oh my goodness this is super delicious mm. this is good mm. let's test them the potato mm. my god this is so good just try it out guys try it out try it for your family for yourself you won't regret it mm. this is good mm. okay my sweet family this is it and now i'm gonna leave you guys here until next time please guys turn up the red button so that you will get a notification whenever we upload a video, you know? Yeah, and please, if you have any comments, don't hesitate to put down your comments on the comment section. And I will definitely get back to you. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye. See you next time. Bye-bye.